The Frog Prince There was once a king who had one daughter who he loved dearly. One day the princess sat beside a fountain in the gardens and played with a golden ball. She threw it up into the air and caught it again and the ball shone and glittered in the sunshine making the princess giggle with happiness. But suddenly, as she threw the ball into the air, she missed it and it fell with a splash into the fountain where it sank to the bottom. The princess tried and tried to reach it, but she could not. Then she began to cry and her tears fell into the fountain. Dear princess, why are you crying? asked a voice. The princess looked around and there she saw a big green frog sitting on the edge of the fountain. I'm crying because I've dropped my ball into the water and I cannot reach it again, answered the princess. And what if I get it for you, said the frog. What will you give me? Anything in the world, dear frog, except the ball itself. I don't wish for you to give me anything, princess, said the frog. But if I bring back your ball to you, will you let me be your little playmate? Will you let me sit at your table and eat from your plate and drink from your mug and sleep in your little bed? Yes, yes, cried the princess. She was very quick to promise, for she desperately wanted her ball back and did not believe the frog could ever leave the fountain or come up the palace steps. Very well then, that is a promise, said the frog. And at once he dove into the fountain and brought back the ball to the princess. The little girl took the ball and ran away with it without even stopping to thank him. That evening, the princess sat at supper with her father eating from her golden plate and drinking from her golden mug. She did not even give a thought to the frog down in the fountain. Suddenly there was a knock at the door, but it was so soft that no one heard it except the princess. Then the knocking came again, louder this time, and a voice cried, Princess, princess, let me in. Have you forgotten the promise you made me by the fountain? The princess was frightened. She jumped down from her chair and ran to the door, opened it and looked out. And there on the top step sat the great green frog. When the princess saw him, she shut the door quickly and came back to the table. She was very pale. Who was at the door? asked the king. It was no one answered the princess. But surely there was someone there, said the king. It was only a great green frog from the fountain, said the princess. And then she told her father how she had dropped her ball into the fountain and how the frog had brought it back to her and of what she had promised him. Well, of course you must carry out your promise, said the king. Open the door and let him in. Unwillingly, the princess went back to the door and opened it, and the frog hopped into the room. When she returned to the table, the frog hopped along next to her. She sat down and began to eat. Princess, princess, put me up on the table so that I too may eat from your golden plate, said the frog. The princess would have refused, but she dared not to disobey her father's demand that she kept her promise. So she lifted the frog to the table and there he ate from her plate, but she could not bring herself to eat anything. I am thirsty, said the frog. Let me drink from your golden mug. The princess did as she was asked, but as she did so, she could not help crying. After supper, the princess was about to hurry away to her room, but the frog called her. 
Princess, princess, take me along with you. Have you forgotten that I'm to sleep in your little bed? You shall not, cried the princess. Go back to the stones of the fountain where you belong. You must keep your promise, said the king. Take the frog with you. The princess shuddered, but knew better than to argue with her father. She took the frog with her up to her room and put him down in a dark corner where she wouldn't see him. Then she went to bed, but her head had hardly touched the pillow when she heard the frog calling her. Princess, princess, is this the way you keep your promise? Lift me up to the bed, it's cold and hard down here on the floor. Finally, the princess got up from the bed and lifted the frog in her hands. She placed him on her pillow and settled back down to sleep. The routine continued for several more nights where the frog would come and share supper with the princess and then fall asleep on her pillow. With each night, the princess got a little more used to having the frog around until finally, she realised that she was quite happy in his company. One morning she woke up to see that there was no longer a fat green frog lying on her pillow. In his place was a handsome young prince, all dressed in green. The prince spoke softly. Dear princess, he said, by becoming my friend you have broken the spell that I was under. When I was a little boy, a cruel fairy was angry with my father. She changed me into a frog and put me there in the fountain. But now that the spell is broken, we can really be playmates and one day we may even get married. The princess was delighted. The prince stayed in the castle and they became true friends, eventually falling in love. The day that the prince and princess were married, the whole kingdom joined in with the celebrations. One day, the prince decided that it was time to return to his kingdom and see his old father. So he set off with the princess by his side in a beautiful golden carriage pulled by several white horses. His father was delighted to see him again and they all lived happily ever after.